Pica Polo is a traditional a Dominican fried chicken. I bring the idea from my country, Dominican Republic, to Cleveland. I bring the different taste, you know, the ingredients that we use in, in my country for Caribbean fried chicken. So, fresh ingredient. You know. I can say Pica Polo is a dream. I have the dream to open my own place, and that is what it is. Caribbean food, uh, we just use enough fresh ingredient, like fresh garlic, oregano, like fresh lime or lemon juices. It's, you know, fresh ingredient like that. We start with the chicken, fried chicken. We come up with the chicken wings, uh, tenders, and a chicken on a bone. It's a big difference, like, uh, especially in the U.S., when you order, like, chicken wings. You go to a bar for chicken wings. Those chicken wings, they just deep fry frozen chicken wings and then they put on top some kind of sauce, barbecue, hot sauce, whatever. We don't cook the chicken here that way. First, no frozen chicken go to my deep fryer. And the second one, no chicken go to the deep fryer without seasoning. So I have my chicken overnight, seasoning with lemon juice, oregano, fresh garlic, pepper, salt, of course. And then next day we have a special breading for chicken and then with a fry. We do also have a little shrimp and also like shrimp ceviche, shrimp and garlic, fried jumbo shrimp. Now we come with the red snapper because a lot of the guests they ask you all the time, do you have fish, do you have whole snapper? Yes, now we do, we have whole snapper now. And uh, actually this is a great quality of red snapper from Brazil. It's good quality of fish. The shrimp and garlic is one of the top dishes right there. Now we start also with octopus. Octopus sell them very, very, very well. They love that. The most popular thing in the house is the plantain. Trust me, I sell them six cases of plantain a week here. You know how many plantain in a case? Plantain is a little more harder than the bananas. No, even when they are ripening, they are sweet, you know, and tenders, you know, so you deep fry, they, so it's like a dessert. Picapola was a dream, okay? I used to uh, run one of the most popular uh, restaurants in Cleveland, and one day I woke up with the idea, Picapolo West, or Picapolo Play, that they say, why Picapolo Play? So next day I started searching in the computer for places, and I find this location here. And that, trust me, like two weeks after I have the key in my hands. And I work a restaurant for more than 20 years, a few different ones. I pick all the ideas, you know, from different kitchens, and I put it all together and I make mine. The food is delicious. I mean, it's made me feel like I'm at country. It's made me feel like I'm at home. The thing is, you know, when you have a, a restaurant, it's your place, no matter how hard you work, you work for yourself. And it's like a passion, you know? Cooking is my passion.